next step is going to be doing a filament swap. So to do that, I'm going to turn the, the printer on and we're going to preheat to like 175. And once it hits that temperature, I'm going to do a retraction using the extruder to pull it out one step. And the reason for that is we just want to pull it just out of the hot end, release any pressure that's on it, trying to minimize the chances that when we do fully retract it, that it's going to snap off inside the hot end and leave a bunch of gunk there. On the flip side, we don't want it too hot because if we do that, then if we pull it out too quickly, we'll get stringing, which will leave filament in the Bowden tube potentially, but also in the hot end assembly. Uh, that will require us, in either case, too hot or too cold, to actually disassemble everything, to clean it out, and then put in our new filament. So, I'm going to clean up the table here a little bit, set this thing to preheat, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, 175 it is. Now we're going to go back to the main menu, and we're going to go to the extruder and we are going to back it out. So that means turning it clockwise, apparently. Now I'm just going to back it out. One, two, three, four steps. So you can see I, I hit it forward once, backed it out three. Now we're going to go back to temperature and we're going to set this down to 120. So we're going to let it cool to that, which even with the little fan is going to take a few minutes. Okay, so now we're at 120. So I'm going to exit back to the main menu, come back to move, click back into our extruder, and now finish the job and extrude the rest of the material out. All right. And then for that last little bit, we we'll pull out that and hopefully we've got a clear tube in there. Um, it looks unfortunately like we may have sheared the material off. Okay, so good news is it looks like we didn't lose anything down into the hot end. Uh, so I'm just going to take a piece of ABS filament that I have uh, and I did the quick release on either side of the Bowden tube. In order to do that, you just push the blue um, adapter in, you'll hear it click, and then you'll be able to pull the Bowden tube out. I just did that from both ends. And let's just see if we've got anything that's gotten caught in there uh, as we were retracting it. Because that's what I think happened. And we should just be able to push, push that little bit of filament out. Yeah, there it is. There we go. And looking at the end of this piece of filament, you can see that uh, it actually is in the shape of the hot end's tip, and it's got just a tiny itty bitty bit of stringing, which is exactly what we kind of want to see. So that tells me conclusively that there's not any that broke off and it's left inside the hot end. So um, no tear down necessary. Uh, now, the main reason that that happened um, is because the PLA that I was using in this has been sitting around exposed to air and unused for a really long time. Um, so as you can tell, there were a couple of stress points uh, where it's been bent back and forth, and obviously one of those stress points was a little too much and it failed. So uh, after we've got that, all we have to do is push the little blue stopper back in, push the Bowden tube down into it, as far as we can get it to go down. There we go. 
and then let the stopper come back up and we're good to go on that fitting and then we'll just do the same thing here push it down thread and tube in as far as it go and let it click and come back up now i'm not a hundred percent confident on this end that it's all, all the way in but yeah feels good okay so now we should be ready for the abs i'm actually just going to steal this ABS spool off the other mini and the only thing to note is that you want to cut the end off at about a 45 degree angle. Um, that'll just let it feed really smoothly uh, into the extruder all the way in the Bowden tube, tube and all the way down and into the hot end. So I'm just going to set it here, manually release the clip just to get it started into the tube. There we go. And I'm going to manually feed it down into the hot end and just push until you get, you know, some significant resistance there. All right. So now it should be in. We can come down here. We'll set our temperature since this is ABS. We're going to set it to 230. There we go. Let that preheat. I'm using Matter Hackers filament. Whatever filament you want to use is fine. I would be weary of buying cheap ABS or PLA filaments. Anything that you're buying in one kilogram spools, if it's under about $15, I would be extremely weary of the quality. There's so many problems that can occur from things like very minor variations in the width of the filament, supposed to be 1.75 millimeter. Even really high quality filament will vary between, generally between 1.71 and 1.75. Some of the cheap stuff out there, you'll see it go as thin as 1.65 and sometimes as thick as 1.8 or 1.9 millimeters, which if it's any thicker than 1.75, it's really easy to cause jams, especially in this printer. The other thing is impurities. A lot of times they put in plasticizers and extra additives so that it'll have a longer shelf life or to counteract a less high quality filament that they're actually using as the raw plastic that they're getting it from. If there's impurities, those can build up in the hot end inside of it over time and eventually cause clogs that can be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to, to clean up. And you know, you'll be changing your your tips, you'll be having to ream out the inside of the hot end, stuff that you just don't really want to do. There's a number of you know really well known and well established filament makers and the reality is you know a kilogram of filament saving even at half price so let's say ten dollars versus twenty at twenty dollars you're getting an incredible amount of material out of that and you know it's the difference of a print costing you eight cents versus sixteen cents um, it's really tiny amounts of cost savings but the potential for screwing up your printer and downtime and repairs goes up astronomically. So just just be wary of that when you're when you're picking your material. Okay, so looks like we're just about up to temperature. Come down to the extruder. You can see the little bit of PLA that was left in there starting to ooze out the bottom. There we go. So I'm just gonna keep feeding this through. And there we go. Now we're getting ABS through. You can see though that there's a little bit of kind of gunk that's coming out with it, um, especially if you're doing a filament change that's the same color. So if you're going from black PLA to black ABS or vice versa, um, you definitely want to purge quite a bit. Um, I would recommend purging you know, 100 millimeters or so, if you can, just to make sure 
that that other filament is out, especially going from PLA to ABS. PLA has a much lower melting point, so the hot temperatures require, you know, 230 degrees Celsius to print ABS. What will happen is it'll start, if there's any PLA left in there as you're beginning to print, when you're printing and it's doing retractions along the way, what'll happen is you'll get basically soot. So it'll start to, to burn actually inside of the hot end and you can get build up and gunk up that will start to clog the, the hot end up that we definitely do not want to happen. Going the opposite way, going from ABS back to PLA, the big problem is that since ABS has a much higher temperature, both printing and melting point, you need to actually purge out the ABS at ABS temperature, so at 230 or so, until you make sure you get it all out and then lower the temperature back down for PLA. Again, you wanna do that in a purge cycle because if you just expect to do it when it's printing regularly, with retractions and everything going on, you'll find that it'll get little bits of ABS kind of stuck to the sides and down in the tip, and it's real easy to clog up that way as well. Just keep that in mind. I think we've gotten pretty much everything out. I'm just doing a visual check over the links that I just extruded, and everything looks good. So I think we're solid there. We've got our new filament in. We've done a a proper switch out. I'm just going to stop the preheat here. So we have leveled the bed, we have secured the glass to the bed, we've put the insulating material underneath it, we've changed filaments, we've purged the old filament through so the new filament's good to go. The last thing we need to do is we need to check that at temperature. So with both the bed heated up as well as the hot end heated up, we need to verify that everything is still level. It should be, but it's amazing what can happen when things heat up. So we wanna make sure that everything is still level on the bed, everything looks good, there's still enough tolerance with our piece of paper so that when we do go to start printing, you know, we'll be in good shape.